Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you two easy, yummy and soothing summer special recipes. One is easy and yummy bottle gourd porridge that means loki ki kheer and the another is sweet sour and spicy green mango chutney that means green mango longi kd longi in hindi both of the recipes are so much special in this summer season both are soothing easy and yummy so guys let's see the recipes at first, I am going to show you the green mango chutney. For this recipe, I am taking two green mangoes. We need to peel them off and wash them properly. After washing, we need to cut them into pieces. You may cut them the way you feel easy. Mine are actually hard from the inner side. I mean the seeds are hard now. So, I am cutting them this way. We need to remove the seeds from the inner side. This part, we need to remove it. And after that, we need to cut them into pieces. You may keep the size according to your choice. There is no problem. I am taking them in a plate. And in the same way, both of the green mangoes are cut as you can see. Now, let us go for the pan. In the frying pan, we need to add some cooking oil. After the oil is heated well, we need to add some spices. I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds. 1 4 teaspoon of methi dana that means fenugreek seeds and 1 teaspoon of sof that means fennel seeds. You may add some kalonji if you have but I did not have it so I am skipping it. Let the whole spices crackle well and let them be aromatic. The color should also be changed. So, it is done as you can see the color is changed and it is very nicely aromatic. So, now we need to add the kairis. Kairis means green mangoes into the pan. Now, we need to mix everything very well. And after mixing, we need to cover the pan for some time on medium to low heat for about 2 to 3 minutes. After about 3 minutes on low heat, I am mixing it again. And after that, we need to add some water in it. For 2 kairis, I mean for 2 green mangoes, I am adding about 1 and a half bowl of water. No need to add so much water at the beginning because later we may add more water if needed. So, I am adding in total 1 and a half bowl of water and covering the pan. And now it is nicely boiling as you can see. After the water starts to boil, we need to add some sweetness. So, I am adding some jaggery and some sugar. You may use total jaggery or total sugar as you like, there is no problem. I added the sweetness quantity according to my assumption. Later, we will check the taste and we will add more sweetness if needed. Half teaspoon of black salt I added and 1 teaspoon of chaat masala. Half teaspoon of garam masala and about 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder. It will give a nice color and a nice spiciness. After mixing well, we need to cover the pan for some time until the green mangoes are cooked well. In between, we need to uncover the pan and check it. In between, I am checking it. The green mangoes are not yet cooked well, but the water is almost dried up. So, we need to add some more water and I check the taste. So, I am adding some sugar according to taste and a very few quantity of salt only two pinches of regular salt according to my taste and now i'm going to add some more water about half bowl of water and now i'm going to cover the pan for another some time the heat should be medium or medium to low after some time the green mangoes are nicely cooked now you can see guys they are cooked very well so now we need to bring the chutney to our desired consistency. So, I am mashing the pieces a little as you can see and we need to dry it up until it comes to our desired consistency. And now, I think it is perfect. I turn the heat off. I am showing you serving the chutney guys. But we need to cool it down fully and after cooling down, we need to store it in the refrigerator. You may store this chutney in normal refrigerator for about 10 to 12 days and serve the chilled chutney during or after your meal. It's really super delicious and soothing during this summer season. So, don't forget to try it. 
सो गाइज नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द रेसिपी ऑफ लौकी की खीर दैट मीन्स पोरिज ऑफ बॉटल गोड वेरी ऑफ एन वाइल मेकिंग द पोरिज ऑफ बॉटल गोड द मिल्क स्टार्स टू कार्डल बट आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ सीक्रेट ट्रिक ऑफ मेकिंग इट विच विल प्रिवेंट योर पोरिज फ्रॉम कार्डलिंग एंड इट विल बी परफेक्टली स्मूथ क्रीमी एंड यामी सो गाइज लेट सी द रेसिपी फॉर दिस रेसिपी वी नीड अ टेंडर बॉटल गोड वी नीड टू पील इट ऑफ After peeling off, we need to divide it into two portions, equally like this, lengthwise. And after that, we need to remove the inner portion, that means the uh, seedy portion, with the help of a spoon, like this. We need to do it for both of the portions. After removing, I wash them properly, and now we need to grate them. I am taking this fine grater for this. Don't take a large grater for this recipe. So now, let's grate them. After grating, we need to squeeze the water from the bottle gourd. We need to use our hand. No need to use any cotton cloth for squeezing the water, and do it very gently. Don't squeeze so much water from it. So I'm doing it like this. We don't need so much excess water in it, so I'm doing this process. This little quantity of water I'm removing, and here is our bottle gourd. So now we need to go for the pan. pan or handi i'm using a frying pan for this recipe and now i'm adding some desi ghee ghee means clarified butter two spoons of desi ghee and after that we need to heat it well after the ghee is heated well we need to add the bottle gourd into the pan we need to fry it very nicely with only two simple ingredients the first one is a pinch of salt for this quantity of bottle gourd i am using only 2 pinches of salt don't add too much salt for this recipe because we are making a sweet dish 2 pinches of salt just 2 pinches of salt to enhance the sweetness of the dish and now is the secret thing of uh, making the porridge which will prevent it from curdling and it is baking soda yes guys it's baking soda and we need only one pinch of baking soda only this quantity and now we need to fry it on medium heat for about 3 to 4 minutes or until a nice translucent color and the quantity also should be decreased the heat should be on medium and after about 4 to 5 minutes this is the texture of the bottle gourd the color is changed and the quantity is also decreased so now it's time to add milk for this recipe i boiled milk previously and thickened it from that milk i'm taking only one glass of milk it's of course full fat milk and i'm taking it with the milk cream if you didn't thicken it up you may change the quantity i mean increase the quantity of milk but for me one glass is enough because it's thickened up milk we don't need to cover the frying pan for making the khir we need to stir it occasionally when it starts to boil we need to add some dry fruits i'm taking some uh, almonds and some raisins you may take any kind of dry fruits as you like or as available near you We need to cook it for some time until the bottle gourd is cooked 100%. After it's cooked very well, we need to add the sweetness. So after about seven to eight minutes on medium heat, the bottle gourd is nicely cooked. It's cooked very well, 100%. And now I'm adding the sweetness, about one fourth cup of sugar and half teaspoon of green cardamom powder for a nice flavor. We need to mix everything very well, and he should be on medium now. We need to uh, dry it up until a nice consistency, according to our choice. 
so now i think it's my desired consistency and it's very smooth and creamy now so i turn the heat off so guys now we need to cool it down fully and after that you may keep it in the fridge for some time before serving and it's now fully cooled down and you can see that it's very smooth and creamy in texture the milk is not curdled at all it's very perfect so guys try this simple recipe and enjoy if you try this recipe don't forget to share your experience with me hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching